Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. Today we have our good friend Human, who is going to be experiencing quite a few things along with us, because we haven't done a full range of testing. I mean, we've done some testing with the Human, don't get me wrong, we've, we've done a bit. However, I'm still working on the update for this, so I have to figure out more things to do to him in the meantime. Oh boy. So... Why don't we get started? One of the things that we haven't really done a full suite of testing with is when it comes to putting different materials into the body. Um, I'm kind of curious how it'll act. Some things I expect to work normally, like if I put water into his bloodstream, um, obviously in real life you wouldn't really want to do this, but you'll notice that it's fine. Oh, it's not fine. Okay, water and body bad. You want to know why it's bad? Because it caused the plant to grow in his lungs. Why did, did the water destroy his lungs? That was really odd. Okay. What is going on over here? Uh, I'm very confused. I think the lungs are just... Oh, so they were just already dying. Yeah, so this this does have a cup, couple of issues. Um, as, as I have said in the past, this human is not a perfect prototype. Um, one of the big issues being the ability to remove CO2 is, uh... A little bit lacking, but we're gonna work on that, you know. And what I can do for now is I can just set CO2 to negative 100. There we go, now everything's all set for testing. And let's see if we add water now if the same thing happens. We shouldn't get water inside the lungs. That would be quite odd. Okay, so we aren't getting anything too, too odd now. And as you can see, the water is just going through normally. I didn't expect any crazy result from putting water into him. Um, he should be able to handle that just fine. It may have some unintended side effects, but for the most part, putting an un, you know, a liquid that's not designed for the body into it is just going to prevent the blood transfer from happening, which is... Fine. No huge issue. Uh, I'm also a little bit concerned that the blood vessels may not be able to pick up the water and it may cause clogging, but it seems to be working fine, so I'm not going to freak out too much. Let's go ahead and try a different uh, liquid. So some fun liquids, maybe things like glow or maybe even gel. Gel has variable viscosity, and it has some strange rea- as you can see, it kind of sticks. It's sticky. And, um, this could actually be a really good way to simulate, for example, cholesterol and getting a, uh, blood clot. So you can see, it kind of coats the surface of the lungs, which is A, blocking blood flow, and B, blocking transmission of the oxygen to the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood to the lung. Only if we strip off the gel can it work properly again. Um, that's actually kind of neat. A uh, gel in the wrong place, such as in the brain, could actually clog it permanently and kill the host organism. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually already having that issue. Oh my god, look at that! Any any gel that goes through the body completely, uh, it really causes some issues. When you look at that, it can clog everything up. I believe heating it up a little bit causes it to become more viscous. Yes, it does. But heating up the body is, uh, bad because it's going to kill cells, as you can see. I, I did unclog this, but... The price was heavy. Wow, gel is actually a real killer. Um, I didn't expect that. 
So what we can actually do to test the effects of this stuff. Oh, shoot. That I didn't want. Let's just set it to 50. Um, What we can do to test the effects of this is just grab, what is this? Temperature 22, so this is normal. And so this, we can just put any material into and it will be introduced into the body. As we just learned, gel may actually be one of the more dangerous things. Uh, this is a good idea in the future to make some sort of fat or something that you can use to clog up arteries. Oh, look at it going through the arteries for the brain. It is having a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. It's going very slowly. Everything has been clogged up. These main arteries really need to be opened back up or he is going to die. Oh. Well, it's like the healthy eating campaign right here. Thanks, Michelle Obama. <laughs> We're learning about healthy eating today. So yeah, that uh, that's not very good for him. Uh, I'm kind of curious if we fill him with mercury. Uh, mercury is extremely heavy and it should just fall to the bottom. Um, it may be boring, it may do nothing, but always got to test. It also changes volume with temperature. I really do need to make it so that the body releases heat. Yeah, as you can see, it falls much more quickly than the blood. Um, it's actually doing a little bit of mixing action. It's helping the blood mix a little bit. And real life, mercury is quite uh, toxic, so you would not want mercury inside of your body. But he seems to be fine with it. It's just taking up a lot of the space that should be going to blood. Um. Look at that, he is, he is full of mercury, lots of mercury, but he's not dead and he's, he's not really having any huge side effects. The only issue would be if it heated up at all, uh, if he found his body heat at all, that mercury will expand, which could cause some issues. Ooh, just a simple slight heating and you've, you've absolutely destroyed him. Very sensitive to heat, organisms are. Very sensitive to heat indeed. Look at all the dead tissue and mercury. Alright, I did not mean to publish that. I did not mean to publish that. Whoops, can we get him back to how he was? No! <laughs> did I just accidentally destroy my entire save? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That button. No! How do I go back? How do I go back? Oh, darn it. Okay, this one's at least better than the other one. Oh, no! We've made a horrible mistake. A horrible, horrible mistake. Okay, uh... Mm, I can fix this. Uh, uh, set type, ah, uh, Merc zero. Okay, we've removed all of the mercury that's not in his blood vessels. Now we just have to get the life back up on his stuff. Oh, not life. I need to do health. Health. 100. Heal everything up. Okay. Should be fine. Okay, actually need to cool this all down a little bit. It's way too hot. Okay, I went a little bit too cold, but that's better than too hot. Oh my god, I just destroyed my entire save. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Whoops! Hate it when that happens. Now he just got random mercury in his blood. Okay, I think I think I've cleaned most of the mercury out. Nobody will notice. It's fine. Everything's fine. 
Everything is absolute. What is happening here? Why is there no blood in this slut? Why is everything? Oh my god. I have really screwed this up. Uh, can I just set the temperature of everything to just 20? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right. What? Oh god, no, that's far worse. It has to be like 200, it has to be like 300. Because it's from Kelvin. Okay, there there we go, everything's fine. See, everything is okay. No worries, I fixed everything. Ish. There's still a little bit of mercury in him, but nobody will notice. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess, I guess it's fine. I've recovered it. Alright, let's see these other liquids now. We already know acid is not going to end well. Um, oil? Who knows what'll happen if we introduce oil? I mean, I don't think there's very high pressure inside of the body. So we may be able to just put oil into his blood with no repercussions whatsoever. I, I don't see any repercussions yet. I am increasing the amount of oil heavily. Okay, we have oil kind of clogging things up now. Um, looks like we have cell death from just the blood not doing its job. No, the oil doesn't seem to have done much. Sure, if there was any heat whatsoever and or fire, I have a feeling that the oil would cause massive it. Yeah, as you can see, the inside of his blood vessels are burning due to the oil, and uh, if I were to set this on fire, it would probably do quite a bit- Oh, there it goes! The oil inside of him is now- is now catching on fire. Whoop! Whoopsies! Okay, um... But, I mean, that's really- that's really what we can expect. This isn't, like, shocking information. Filling the body with oil doesn't- isn't healthy, generally. I think the gel was the most interesting thing. Um, bizarre might be interesting. It has the opposite of the normal state changes. It looks really cool when you fill them with bizarre. Look at that glow. It's... Eh, yeah, he, he just... He looks like he's gotten super Saiyan mode right there. I don't think it's very healthy though, again, it's taking up a majority of the blood vessels and stuff and it's going to cause cell death because the blood cannot get through. It's because it's so heavy it falls to the bottom, which prevents the blood from cycling properly. And you can see definitely in his head area especially, it's just completely clogged. Completely clogged. He's a fragile creature. I think, I think we just have to accept he is a fragile creature. And if we, uh, throw stuff into him. Now, yeast is an interesting one. Um, yeast grows when it's warm. So if we just put a bit of yeast into him and then, uh, warm things up a little bit. Go ahead and use the prop tool to set the temperature to 40. Which isn't enough to kill his cells, but it's enough to make the yeast happy. Oh, wait, uh, it has to be, like, three... Ah, oh, shoot. It has to be, uh, 320. There we go. Oh, there it goes! Yeah, it grows. Oh! Quite violently as well. Yeah, the yeast growing. I do, I do see how it's an issue. <laughs> I do see how it's a problem. Once again, it clogs up the body, causes a whole lot of issues. There's like yeast in his brain, you know, good, good stuff. But it's not super dramatic. Hmm. I think, I think overall, there's just, there's not, there's not a ton. Not a ton of issues with filling his body with random things, as long as it doesn't impede the ability for the blood to do its job. 
unlike real life, there aren't all these chemical reactions uh, or ways for it to poison. Like, even filling them with gas, it doesn't really matter unless for some reason there's a fire. And then you have, obviously, gas combusts. Big, big bad. And even then, maybe he'll survive- Oh god, no, his lung exploded. Okay. Alright. Okay, no, B really exploded. Woo! Holy moly! Oh, man. That, uh, the oxygen being cloned there causes a huge issue. I mean, he can survive a pretty good hit by, uh, fire. Or maybe he can't. No, he can. That was a pretty brutal hit right there, and... You know, it went through his skin, burned some of it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That may have been a little bit too much. He's lost an arm. And part of his head. The skin, the skin is burning. Okay, but if we did that again, but he stopped, dropped, and rolled, or had water thrown on him. So, like, that's the initial blast, and let's say sprinklers go off or whatever. <sighs> So, there's damage, and he's bleeding, but the skin should grow back. Uh, okay, there is some major blood loss, I will admit that. Alright, can we just- alright, let's just amputate the arm. If we amputate this arm, I think everything will be alright. Right? Alright, there we go, boom! Oh, shoot. Okay, um... I do that and clean out that. Yeah, no. No, he survived. I mean, sure, he lost an arm, but it could have been worse. <laughs> could have been a lot worse. What about a proton blast? Psh! The only thing you have to worry about with the Proton Blast is more of the cancer. Uh, because that can cause him to get cancer. It doesn't seem like it did. So let's see another blast. And that's a lot of protons. Just, just for the record. And there we go. We do have a tumor. From those two massive blasts. We have a tumor in his arm that's growing now. Now, we could try to remove it. Let's try to remove the tumor. We're just gonna, like, amputate that entire area and reconstruct it. But I think it's too late. Nope. Still trying to grow. It's gotta amputate more and more. Uh, but it's very likely that it's already hidden in the bloodstream and it's gonna reappear somewhere else now. Yeah, no, it's just growing over here. I don't- I don't think we can really get rid- get rid of the cancer from his arm at this point. His lung exploded for some reason. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when my lung just explodes. <laughs> oh, and we have cancer over- oh. Ooh. Ooh, and over here and over here. I told you. Once- once it hits the bloodstream, there's no way. You just explode. That's how it goes. Well, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, we're gonna have some new biology things soon so this doesn't get too repetitive. But I do think we did discover something really cool. I think playing around with gel is definitely interesting, and you should go and do so yourself. Peace out. Bye bye Hey! Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and let me know what you want to see in the next video, or what you want to see in the biology mod. Literally, just... Write a comment, please. I like interaction. I'm lonely. Thank you, end credits gang. Peace out.